Not all mating rituals are aggressive. Oh, there's a female. Village weaver birds from sub-Saharan Africa build elaborate nests to compete for female attention. Among the 30 village weavers here at Chester is Plo, a young male who is determined to impress a potential partner. Plucky young Plo. Plo's fairly new to all of this. He's a young bird, as far as we're aware. Certainly the nest building efforts that he's made so far suggest that they're not very good. He's got a lot to learn. If he's going to succeed in this season's race to mate, he'll need to improve his building skills. Oh, bless him. It looks like it's kind of anchored really well, but it's just yeah. been built really badly. On the neighbouring branches are plenty of other young males all competing for a mate, including two-year-old Johnny. Johnny is a more experienced bird. Um, he, he knows what he's doing. He's, he's out there to do what he needs to do. He's, he's kind of the weathered builder, really. He's, um, he's a construction worker. He's a scaffolder. It's very competitive. The males build these nests as an example of their worth, their prowess. You know, they've put a lot of time and effort and energy into building these. So they're making a house, basically, for the females to then make a home. You could be an ugly weaver, and so long as you know how to build, you could, you could get your girl. On a nearby branch, female Flo is keeping a close eye on Plo, Johnny, and the other male's construction work. She will decide which mate to go for, based on their building prowess. The female's role is predominantly, at the very start, building control. She's the annoying one that comes along and tells you you need to sort of reconsider your, uh, your architect's plans. That the females judge it on its strength and its ability to stay dry okay. before they judge it on its aesthetics. Flo, she'll come and inspect that nest, make sure it's strong enough, because she's not going to risk her life or the life of her chicks if it looks likely that it's just going to fall apart and they're all going to drop into the water. Every single component part of the nest, from the anchor at the branch, he's got to get every single bit of that right. Plo's nest is far from finished, but he's become distracted by Flo's presence. Weavers in the wild can reportedly build a nest um, in as quickly as a day. Plo seems to struggle with this a little bit. He gets very distracted. He's a bit of a flirt, so before the nest's ready, you will have a habit of start to, starting to enter into a display uh, a little bit prematurely, perhaps. Plo shouldn't be performing a mating display yet, but he seems to think it's worth a try. When he starts the display to advertise the home that he's, he's built, He's barely got the doormat, really. He's maybe got the foundations, but, but not much more than that. He's peaking too soon, bless him. Back in the aviary, Plo, the village weaver, has finally finished his nest. The time is now right for Plo to attempt to attract Flo with a mating display. He'll hang from the, from the underside of it and, and flap his wings and do this sort of very raucous call, really. But he's not alone. Johnny and all the other males have also finished their nests. He'll have to do that with all the other males around him doing it at the same time when they all see the same girl. It's like a load of builders wolf whistling as a, as a female goes past, really. They've just got to be the loudest. But after careful inspection, Flo decides that Plo's nest is the best. For this mating season at least, it looks like Plo has beaten the competition. 
flow has been wooed and that it's, it's all happening now. She's taking things into the, into the nest and uh, hopefully we should see a couple of eggs in there soon and, and eventually some chicks, hear the sound of some chicks. Mm -hmm.